Huh, Chris. <laughs> A-Hole Productions. I think the fact uh, that they wrote Samson, yes, my back. <laughs> Doctor says I need a backyonomy. <laughs> what movie is that from? Is that from uh, Dave Chappelle's in that movie, right? Um, I can't think of the name of it. I'm sure it's like a pun on being high, I'm sure. Doctor says I need a backyonomy. I love they wrote Alfred like he loves his sister so much that after she inject herself and went to sleep for 15 years that he, uh, yeah, that's right, yeah. Oh, shit! He fast. Oh, damn! Okay. This guy is not messing around. Shit. Way to auto lock, you stupid idiot. Shit. Yeah, this is gonna suck. Ugh. If he would have hit that, we would have we would be over. Ow. Where are you aiming, lady? Oh, I heard it. Good night. I'm okay with using all those ammo rounds. I don't care. Half baked. That was the movie. That was it. Mental breakdown. A character where they could do that. Yeah. No. It, it adds depth. It's. Uh, it adds. It, it makes your character not feel two dimensional. That's the key. I remember the first time I, I played this and, I, and that they revealed that I was. I was like really stunned. I was like, wow, I never would have thought of that. Like, that's a great twist. And like I said, it, it seems like it's a, a lot of these games, like the first four Silent Hill games, and I would say the first four Resident Evil games, they definitely harken back to old horror movies. And that just felt very like psycho to me, you know, like um, where uh, Norman Bates finds, you know, you find out that he's actually the one dressing up as, as his mom. And he, he's like, you know, so infatuated and in love with his mom that he he becomes her after she's dead because she's a voice in his head. Um, I thought that was great. I know, I almost got trapped a couple times. <laughs> oh, he dead. Oh, he's super dead. Alright. Well. I think after we land this plane, we will uh, we'll start the next episode. That was a lot. This is, this is going to be a long episode to edit down. Um, but I'm sure I'll have fun. I like editing these episodes down. I like being here live with you guys and having full conversations. And people on YouTube are sometimes like, dude, I was this, th where'd, where'd that conversation go? You didn't like edit in the ending of that conversation. I'm like, yeah, it's hard to do that sometimes and keep it under the time limit I'm trying to keep my videos at. Um, so I'm like, so join us live, man. Come hang out with us live. We have fun. Yeah, Alfred's good. Whoa, whoa, dude. I'm, no. All right, Steve. Now I remember why people don't like you. I'm gonna kiss a sleeping girl. Keep it in your pants, kid. Even his uh, voiceover is a bit annoying. I think they play they did that intentionally. I mean, it's like they definitely wanted him to be kind of over the top hey, at times, a little flamboyant when he's Alfred. Uh -huh. And then obviously they just have the actress who does Alexia do the voice of him when he pretends he's Alexia, but. Which I think is a little bit of a cop out, but uh, it's, it's fine. Martian cat, what up, fam? How's it going? What? The combos are definitely found live. That's true. Steve, she should be yelling. Oh my gosh! 
she didn't have to jump right to the R word, but um, he certainly was breaking personal space there. John Connor needs to go. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely a little bit based off of John Connor. That's for sure. Oh, great. Who's going to pay for that? I th I like how they did that, where they didn't charge me an extra save. Uh, I think that's for people who try to play through this without saving one time. So when you save at that halfway point there, it just counts it as, like, zero. Like, it doesn't add to your saves, which is nice for people trying to get, like, trophies and stuff. Uh, Unseen says, I agree with you about his voice, but I think that, I mean, Ari is known for its crap VO, but they could have a better voice actor. Well, sure. Sure. But whoever the actor was definitely hammed it up in a good way. I'm just saying, if she doesn't want him to be a creep, then she should yell that, and he would back right off. Oh, jeez, trust you. Yeah, this is disc two. That's right, when this was on uh, the Dreamcast, I think. They did two discs. They haven't seen this game in a long time? Well, welcome back. Yeah, me neither, actually. I have not played this game since the PS2, and I think I watched someone stream about 20 minutes of it once. And then I was like, no, I can't watch it. I want to stream this myself one day. Uh, dude, by the way, uh, thank you for the follow, Unseen. Thank you for the follow, brother. Oh, you're gonna kiss her while she's sleeping, but now that she's awake, you won't touch her hand. You're you're a broken person, Steve. Find another way off this oversized freezer. Right. Correct. That is correct. That was my best Chris Farley impression. Emergency evacuation, veto! Ooh, too bad I didn't bring the crossbows. Ooh, what up? Some goodies in there. Oh, I love you too bad, thanks. <laughs> I know that we just met, but I'm gonna kiss your face right now, like Steve tried to do to Claire. No, wait, I'm not gonna do that, because that's creepy and crossing the line. Come on in, boys. The water's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he, he fast. Y'all dead? Is everybody dead who needs to be dead? Okay, good. What are all these? I keep earning a bunch. Like, <laughs> I'm earning a bunch of trophies on this playthrough. Or in this, like, second half already. What's this? What are you? Oh, you're an ink ribbon. What, what's that? Oh, I got the map. Okay. Whoa! Oh, this is like this little Easter egg thing. So this little rat here apparently is leaving journals around. Um, that's the butler's letter, but there's a... Oh yeah, we need power in here. Uh... So that rat is like, uh, I don't know, there's like there's like a couple of files you find, or one file you find, and it's written from someone with like a code, like a like an R something something, like a couple letters and numbers, and you're kind of wondering who it is, but it's clearly from the point of the view of the rat, and I think they just threw it in there to be weird. Oh, I hate these. I hate these things. I kill it? Oh yeah, it's dead. Those things poison. I hate I, I hate things that poison. Yeah, I, was, I kept thinking spiders were in this game, but I guess uh, I guess that's the thing that you need the blue herbs for. What's this? Can't take any more items. Bullshit. Oh, you may be right. 
You're right. We'll come back. I gotta go. Let's go put the sticker on the uh, the box, and then we'll come back and get whatever the hell that was. Move that lever. I knew he was there. I remembered. I remembered. Do you remember the time when we first met? Yeah. Sweet. Let there be light. Whisper away, dude. Damn it, I love y'all, but I gotta go. Joe, been here long enough. We love you too. Check this shit out. He can smell us. Because we sm probably smell like ass from rolling around in zombie gunk all night. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Gotta go drop. Gotta go drop off. Dang it. Joe, Joe, Joe. Have it. Ah, take it easy, Joe. Have a good night, sir. Oh, you know he mad. How original. All right. Machine room key. Where's the machine room at? I think that's upstairs. Do I have room? I do. I can carry one item. Oh, right. Now I remember what I gotta do with the gas mask. Yep. I'm gonna hit you up soon, bae. You guys better share that friendship. Claire, oh. Looks like there's an Australian observation base about seven miles away from here. That should be our target. Then if we can break through the wall with that digging vehicle, we might have a chance. Okay, let's do it! Yeah, so this place got attacked too. I mean, even though we crashed through the building, we didn't cause the outbreak here. So uh, I guess maybe Wesker got here already too? So watch what this stupid little kid does. I mean, I like it because it's a very human moment, but it's it's still like you want to you kind of want to punch Steve in the mouth. Look at that. Steve, watch out! Oh! It's toxic gas. You are a stupid asshole, Steve. No wonder you couldn't have quick enough fight. <laughs> that was heart emoji. Oh, that's what that. Oh, it is. I. <laughs> that's why. I, yes. Okay, I can't tell the difference. I thought she had like her dukes up with the uh, boxing gloves on, but now that I'm looking closer, I see that now. Will escape from here. Hey, thank you, Joe. I appreciate it. I will, and thank you guys for the biddies, uh, kitty money, unseen. We've got to shut off the gas. Appreciate it. Thank you for those hearts, Joe. Have a better chance of stopping it. Okay. You'll always be my kingdom heart, Joe. Steve, don't forget, we'll get out of here together. Yeah, as long as you don't screw up again. No wonder you don't believe in people. Look how awful you are. Ooh, I think you can actually fall off the ledge in this game. All right, so the car parked fine, thankfully. I mean, I don't need it right now.
Oh, what? We need to find a... We need to find a, something to clip onto that, huh? Oh, I do know what to do. I'm an idiot. We were in there, too. I looked right at the machine. Oh, I'm kicking myself now. We have to... There is an attachment. We have to get it later for Chris's game. I forgot that we actually have to cut the metal on this stupid thing. Watch. Yep. So this will cut an octagon into it. Oh, I'm an idiot. I totally forgot about this. Alright, so we're going to end this uh, episode on a on a high note, too. We're going to fight a boss battle in this episode. Oh, shish kebabs. Alright, I know I probably should have saved there, but that's okay. Because this boss fight, if we die, I think someone told me earlier we could restart... Right, Grifter said that? Or someone? Unseen, maybe? Um, we can restart right there, so... So I'm not worried about dying here now. <sighs> We're safe now. Think again, Claire. I shall enjoy <laughs> watching you shriek in agony. Not this time. Uh oh. No. Get her. Whoa. Yeah, he was like, I'm not missing this time. Oof. Where's she let go? Bless you. Growling at me more. I said bless you, my dog just starts growling at me. Alright, calm down, the sneezes. So this creature here is called Nosferatu. And it is very closely tied to the Ashford family. got a nice earring too, huh? I actually like the design of this guy. He's very tyrant-ish, but in a different way. I like the arms tied behind his back. It's a little bit more Silent Hill-ish in design. Um, and this is kind of the beginning stages of almost Ouroboros in a way. Uh, not Ouroboros, but um, whatchamacallit. Uh, oh, you know what? We can go save real quick. Let's go save in case we die too many times and I give up and I rage quit. <laughs> we'll save and then we'll come back and uh, and depart with our friend here and we'll end the episode. But but being up that long is ridiculous. All right, so this is what I forgot earlier. So if you're watching later on YouTube, we we were gonna go fight this boss, but I didn't pick up this sniper rifle. Claire, what are you doing? Let's go. Um, and that triggers the event to go right ready? into this. I'm gonna bust through that wall. Go for it. So this is the cutscene you missed. If you're watching later on YouTube, I cut this out of my edit, most likely. So now you're gonna see them using this big power drill to escape. And this drill, like in this facility, and it being the Arctic, like I think Resident Evil 6 kind of did like a nod to this for one of the levels where you were drilling, you had to use a drill to like fight a monster and you were in a ice cave. It's, it's hard to create new locations, I imagine, for Resident Evil games, because they've been everywhere. <laughs> they've, they've literally been all over the world. Right. These guys are more international than, uh, than like, James Bond and the Avengers at this point. <laughs> Claire, maybe we can escape through there. Come on, let's go. Yeah, they're going to freeze, man. Look how they're dressed.
And I can't remember because it that cutscene makes it look like they they just like the, like the truck stopped working right outside crushing through that wall. Um, so I guess we're not at the that other installation. This is definitely the helicopter pad for the current installation that we're at. Whoops. All right. Well, I guess we'll. Can't care anymore, can I? Oh, well, I used it. Oh well, that's fine. Okay, let's go. At least we're at super, super, on, duper health. Next one is going to be scared? Boise, Idaho. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Resident Evil, Idaho. And Resident Evil DLC, Resident Evil, Utaho. Resident Evil, no Idaho. Oh. Land in snow, just I'm drop, it's fine. Hold on, I'll wake that monster and come back. Clear. Get a boat. Run! So this is Nosferatu. Great name. Um and kind of the early stages you could kind of see of of uh How do you aim with this? I can't remember. Three to the chest. Oops. Oops. Oh yeah, he will poison the shit out of us. Where are you, dude? Oop, we're out of bullets. Alright. <laughs> Alright. And this guy can't kill you in like one hit. He can push you like right off the edge. Obviously he can poison you like that. Oops, I keep hitting the wrong button. Do I have a blue herb on me? I do, of course I don't. go. Got him. Steve. And uh, Nosferatu, we're going to find out who he is uh, and why he's locked up in that basement. Are you all right? Uh, he actually is connected to the Ashford family. For those who don't know, I'm sure a lot of people watching this probably had already played through this game. Claire, you're alive. Man, it feels good to talk about this game. <laughs> this is definitely, definitely one of my favorite Resident Evil games. I think it has the most well-constructed story out of all of them. Although Steve's a little bit of a perv, which is unsettling. But he's reliable, at least. I mean, he's definitely not here to hurt Claire. Although he did try to kiss her while she was sleeping, which would have just won him a ton of creepy points. Amongst other things. Hopefully a kick in the balls, too, from Claire. I don't think Claire would have put up with that shit. I swear I'll protect you next time, Claire. Oh my god. Stop trying to white knight me, bro. We did it! We're finally out! <laughs> Look! There's a snowmobile over there! Yeah. Perfect. We'll be able to ride right over to the Australian base with this. Yeah, let's go. I was wondering about that Australian base if if it is umbrella owned cuz I don't know if umbrella would put a facility like this with zombies and monsters like so close to something they didn't own. Um so it'd be interesting to see in like a future game if that that base belongs to like maybe the rival company or you know secretly 
Um, so here we get a little bit of a revelation. So we were wondering, all right, well, Alfred Ashford was dressing up as a sister. So was there even an Alexia? There had to be. There was two of them on that videotape. So what happened to Alexia? And we're finding out right now. Alexia. She's here in the Antarctic base. Gurdjie says, taking a page from the book of Corbin Dallas. <laughs> That's right, yeah, Corbin Dallas uh, from Fifth Element. Tried to kiss Miller, right, when she was sleeping? It's not endearing, bro. Wait till she wakes up and see if she even wants that kiss. <laughs> I mean, unless it's like a Sleeping Beauty situation, because there's like a fairy tale element to that, you could kind of excuse it, like, eh, they're telling like a, like a fairy tale moment, where like, you know, kisses her and like love wakes her up or keeps her alive, you know, it's like you could, you could do something cheesy and thematically with that, but no, Claire was just full on taking a nap. <laughs> so yeah, he just woke Alexia, his sister, she was in cryostasis. And she ain't happy. She really ain't happy. Ooh. So this is where I kind of question the age of Alexia and like how old she's supposed to be here. Um, Cause she looks like she's like older like they they you know they and an, they animate her like she's older but if she was stuck in cryo she wouldn't have aged um and that was the whole point was that she was supposed to be in a cryo sleep for like 10 full years to allow the t veronica virus to adapt to her body and then when she'd wake up she'd be kind of in control of it um based on her like you know assessment of like how the virus works when they recreated it um she needed to sleep for 10 years so i would assume that she went to sleep when she was like 15 or 16 which means she would wake up that age which i actually think is would be a cool cooler story than her like just being like 28 along with her brother because then it would be like oh chris redfield and claire like normally in these movies you know, it's like, oh, we got to protect the child. You know, like aliens, we got to protect Newt or something. But it's like, oh, imagine if Newt was the bad guy. Um, that would be, and, and and it was like, it was a bad guy who was like a, a a super prodigy genius who turned herself into a monster. You know, um, we just add a slight different element. I know that's been done before too, but it adds a little bit of a different element. But here comes my boy Chris. Prince Charming is a creep. Yeah, there you go. He sure is, isn't he? By today's standards, for sure. This open window can lead somewhere or nowhere. It's up to you. What do you mean, who is this? It's Chris. Why won't you believe me?